I'm Dr. Cozy. It's nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Did you find our office okay? Good. Okay. So, looking here at your paperwork, it says that you're here due to chronic tinnitus, correct? How long have you been having this? Wow, okay. And can you tell me what treatments you've tried? Which therapies? things helped alleviate the ringing at all, or... No. Okay. Well, we do some alternative therapies here that do have a good efficacy. Some people do experience a complete, um, their tinnitus just completely goes away. And for others, it is just a reduction, but it does improve their quality of life. Some of these treatments will need to be repeated, generally over a nine-week basis. Some that we will try will only need to be done the one time, unless you develop more ringing in your ears later on, okay? So first thing, let me put some gloves on. First thing I'm going to do is a pretty thorough exam of your ears, both the internal and external. This is an otoscope, which I will be using to look inside of your ears. And as well as looking inside of your ears, I will be using this insufflator bulb, which blows a little puff of air inside. As well as using this little tin fork here. And the purpose of these two things is that I would like to see how your tympanic membrane, your eardrum, vibrates or moves in accordance to each. So the puff of air is just going to cause it to move just a bit. The tuning fork will create a vibration. And what that lets me do is assess the mobility of the eardrum and determine if there's anything like fluid present which would prevent full range of motion, okay? Okay. So, I'm going to start on this side. And I'll feel
gonna try looking with the tuning fork down, okay? Reading and moving well. Oops, okay. Sorry, I keep saying oops. So let's take a look at this here now. So, is there any tenderness or discomfort when I insert the otoscope on this side? appear that each of your eardrums is vibrating and moving correctly. Which rules out an issue with the mobility. stagmus, which is when the eyes flicker due to a loss of balance. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to place my hands on either side of your head, just like that, just to sort of help limit any dizziness. We're going to start with small How was that? Okay. And try it again. A little bit bigger this time. Just 
still okay? Okay. Try one more time here. It's a bit bigger, I know. at your eyes here, I don't see any sign of an astagmus. So, that does help rule out an inner ear infection. Just take a quick look. portion of your ears due to the nature of some of the tests that we will try some of the therapies actually I will be placing things around the ear and I need to make sure that there are no issues in the skin like acne for example or a break in the skin which will complicate the placement of some of the devices okay None of them are painful, I promise. But I do need to check. So, just gonna be taking a look here. looks intact. I'm not seeing any sort of breakage in the skin or infectious processes present, so that's good. So, okay. Now what I'm gonna do is just gently clean around the ear.
I'm going to be trying three different therapies. The first one is something called cupping, which will be using negative pressure on the ears to increase circulation, promote angiogenesis, which is the production of new cells from existing cells. And this is saved in the tinnitus. conductive gel around your ear. My transmitter again. My transducer rather. And waste to also help increase the circulation. And the third one will be using infrared radiation to do the thing, do the same thing by encouraging inflammation, which helps dilate the vessels to allow for increased circulation to the ear canal. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to be placing these cups over your ears. Okay. And this, while it looks a bit scary, is just basically creating these suctions so that way they and stay in place as well as do their job of creating that negative pressure, okay? Okay. It's not painful. It might be a little funny, but it won't hurt. So, starting with
so how are you feeling? Do you feel any improvement in the intensity of the ringing in your ears? Okay. Well then, let's go ahead and try ultrasound, okay? Placing some conductive gel. This is not the type of ultrasound where you will see images on the screen. Rather, we are using the ultrasound waves as the therapy. It should not be uncomfortable, just a little bit of pressure. But it should not be unpleasant, okay? Okay. So, starting. That okay?
Do you perceive any sort of noticeable change at all? Not really. Okay. Gonna take a quick look at the side of your ears. The otoscope again, just to see if I can see any discernible changes. don't want you to feel imbalanced, so we will be trying the third therapy. First, let me just take a quick note. doing infrared radiation using a low level laser into your ear, okay? I'm going to be aiming it through the external medius at the cochlea, which is a fluid filled cavity inside of your inner ear. It helps with, is a critical role actually in allowing us to hear. So, just need to get of things just to ensure your comfort and safety. It is a safe procedure, but we want to make sure that oops, sorry, your eyes are protected. So, just a moment. Placing some protective mesh covers over your ears.
those are going to help protect wearing protective goggles as well. you will be hearing sort of buzzing sound and it might feel a bit warm but you shouldn't feel any sort of pain or discomfort, okay?
Let's take your glasses off here, okay?
ends of it again just to make sure that the tympanic membrane is still able to move correctly. Good, so we still have proper mobility. Check the other side. mobility of your tympanic membrane is intact. So that's great. I do see a definite inflammatory response present, which is also great. Do you feel like there is a diminish or a complete loss in the ringing in your ears? Definitely quieter. Okay. Okay, that's good. So, then it would appear that the irradiation therapy is what works for you. So, sorry, my stomach. This therapy does need to be repeated once a week for the following nine weeks, okay? At the end of that time, we will re-examine and reassess you to see if we need to go through another bout of treatment or if the tinnitus has completely resolved. So from here on out, when you come back in, it'll be a very quick visit, probably about 15 minutes tops. We will just go directly into the light therapy, the laser therapy, and then you'll be able to go. So on your way out, you will need to stop at the front scheduling desk so they can get you some time to book to make sure that you're able to come back at the same time every week. Okay. Do you have any questions for me before I step out? Okay. Well, if you think of anything, you can always ask me next time you come in or give me a call. Okay. Well, it was really nice to meet you. I'll see you next week.